All right, as requested, we're going to take a look at Kelly Kulik's release here. One of the most popular bowlers in the last few decades. Um, the only woman or the first woman to win, the only woman to win a PBA major title, uh, and the first woman to win a PBA title in general. Um, so we'll take a look at her release and see what she's got going on here. This is just a short clip, so we should be able to kind of move through it and see. But she's got kind of, she's got that extended push away you can see she pushes it out which generally that's something that most people do when they're trying to generate a little bit more speed so they can get a little bit get the ball into the swing faster or get the ball swinging faster hand to the inside you can see all of that but again another another one that likes to pull that left arm back which makes that right hand go to the top side of the ball she does have a better position on the ball than most people do when you if you look at her hand here you can see her fingers are just above the equator she rolls it really good she gets her hand around it and her fingers are to the inside so that's not a bad thing but she definitely rotates the ball better than a lot of the women do as far as creating side rotation but she does play the lanes further left than most women do because of that but she could, for sure, get her hand in a stronger position. I do think being on top of the ball like this is due to that left shoulder coming back. So that right shoulder goes forward, which makes the hand go to the top side and to the outside. And, I mean, and, and again, this is just a common thing. But remember I was saying earlier that a lot of the ladies... When they're playing straighter, they have this type of release because, you know, you're playing straighter and it's okay. And that generally you're trying to shove the ball down the lane. You want it to be nice and clean when you're playing straight. You don't want this big giant sweeping hook. Um, and when they move left, maybe they would get their hand a little bit lower. But obviously you can see here that Kelly doesn't quite get her hand to that spot. Now, that's, again, this isn't to say that her hand is in bad position or that she's, you know, that she does anything wrong. I'm just saying there's a lack of power, a lack of leverage because of the hand not being lower on the ball and more to the inside and below that equator. So she could create more power, even though she's already been one of the more power, powerful ladies on tour. Um, but she could definitely change some things to get more powerful. Um, and you do see some of these these ladies that are working on it. You know, Verity Crawley working on getting her hand further inside and, and a little bit lower. And you know, I, I've actually, since I've started posting a lot of these videos, I've started seeing a lot of Instagram posts from a lot of ladies and a lot of even guys who are working on getting below the equator and getting their hand in a better position. So um, seems the word is getting around that people want to be stronger and more powerful to be able to compete today. So that's good news. But that's all I got for you. I just kind of want to break this down just a little bit for you so you could see Kelly's game and what she has going on there. Um, but I'm out of here. So we will see you guys next time.